Kangaroo Island is a place where people need to spend time. You can make discoveries and you can actually take the time and immerse yourself. For me, Kangaroo Island is a place of solitude, of peace, of happiness, where you don't need to go out and try to touch nature because nature comes and touches you. Every time I go out into the bush, I'm always looking. And so many people go and look, but they don't see. When you take a walk any place on Kangaroo Island, it's like trying to discover something. I've been working with echidnas for 25 years, and it's taught me to be patient. Echidnas are really interesting in many, many different ways. They have these amazing spines on their body, and the spines will actually shed because the spines are modified hairs. So you might go out in the bush and talk about finding a needle in a haystack. If you can find an echidna spine out in the bush, I mean, you have found a treasure. And with these treasures, you can also make some beautiful jewelry. I'm a scientist who believes in magic. I'm a scientist um, who's had a lot of lab experience as well as field experience. For years and years and years, I had to make things like my own little transmitters, and I had a lot of time doing a lot of intricate, tiny work. And that work inspired me, after looking at nature too, to say, okay, I can take these elements of what I've learned to do for scientific work and turn it into a beautiful art object. Everything out there is an inspiration for the art that I do because it's all there. It's all there in nature and it's just waiting for me to decide to put my imagination in it and create something. For me, getting up every day is just fantastic because I know that I'm surrounded by nature and I'm part of it. I'm only a tiny speck, but I'm part of it.